Hi, I'm Scott Maiali, otherwise known as Toten K from Toten.com. This review, it's not audiovisual equipment, it is actually a toy gun. The story behind this is, about a year ago, these guys at Paper Shooters, they saw some of my Nerf stuff, and they were busy crowdfunding this great little, this gun right here. So they talked to me, and they sent me two rifles, two toy rifles in exchange of this review I'm recording now, and for me using these as props in a future video project. Now, it took a while, but they're fully funded now, and they have these off the line. You can probably go to their website and buy them. I do not have the price in front of me, so you can go to their website, check out the pricings and their other models and all that good stuff. So, I'm pretty sure that I got some of the first guns that came off the line. Um, and I say that because this is how they shipped it to me. They shipped it to me in a garbage bag. Okay, so I will have updates throughout this video because I emailed the company with some of my complaints and they emailed me back. The packaging, for one, has changed. So they're no longer shipping them in these big bags. They do have boxes that all the other boxes fit in well. And they claim... They have much better protection during shipping now. From United Kingdom. It ships from the United Kingdom. And, you know, that's how we all get our toys, right? We ship our guns in a garbage bag. So, maybe that's changed by now. You know, they got a little bit better. But, again, like I said, I think I got some of the first guns off the line. So, it's 138 pieces. You put it together yourself. You know, they come... Actually, it was pretty tightly inside of one of these bags. Uh, they, they come in one of these bags, the instruction manual, which has the outer casing stuff, which is this stuff that you put on the outside of the gun. It's lots of it. And then it comes with a couple of the oversized pieces of the gun down here. That's right, you build it yourself. So all the springs and everything, you put in and you screw it all together. And then you put these pieces on the outside. As you could tell, I didn't finish putting this one together. So there's still pieces that go out here. You put, like this right here, you put one piece in, then you glue more pieces on top of it. That's the first thing I don't like. Um, like this piece, I'm gonna have to fix the, your quote unquote iron sights here is cardboard and so i'm gonna have to fix that and then i'm gonna have to figure out some way to cite this which is probably a difficult process probably never meant to be cited i don't know but i almost feel like you well, actually i do feel like you don't need any of this you, you, it's just a long drawn out process a lot of extra glue i mean your hobbyists might enjoy this and i feel like that's the demographic it's they say 14 and up um, but let's face it, a 14-year-old with toy guns, it's only made... <laughs> the only way a 14-year-old is going to have toy guns like this is to mess with their little siblings or to play games like Capture the Flag. And I don't feel like this is the gun to play Capture the Flag or Humans vs. Zombies with, and I'll get into that in, in a second. My first, you know, back to my first complaint is all the cardboard stuff. It just, it, it looks flimsy, um... Putting the gun together, all the screws are nicely concealed. You know, they have divots for the screws. However, for the covering, I have a screw, exposed screw here, exposed screw here. This is where my hand goes. This is where my thumb goes back and forth. I'm gonna really scrape my thumb. And if I'm playing one of those games, if I'm running, there's a good chance I'm gonna I'm gonna cut myself on that screw somehow. If I fall with that screw on top, me, my hand, I'm gonna someone's gonna cut themselves on this screw. I, I I guarantee it, or at least scrape themselves pretty bad. Um, so I'd rather not do that. Uh, I'd rather just take these off and just repaint this whole thing, which I probably will for you know and use as movie props. I think these would make great movie props. One, because you can modify it, you know, you can paint paint it up, maybe make it look like a futuristic weapon of some sort, uh, you know, modify it. And two, the way this thing shoots, it shoots these little paper wads, like a spit wad type thing, except for it's not wet, uh, which actually got me hooked. 
I thought it was a really cool concept shooting paper because once you run out of all these little paper things, you take the mold, you rip some paper up, you get a little wet, stick in the mold, wait till it dry, now you got more paper. I wish it was something you could just rip paper and toss in there and then start firing. That would be really cool. This isn't that toy. Um, you know, you take the little paper and you put it in cartridges. Six rounds in the chamber, let's rapid fire them. Two, three, four, five, six. We have a jam. There's still two left. See that? When the paper's jammed right inside of it. One, two, three. One, two, and looking for the third one. There's the last one. So you put the cartridges in your clip. Put this clip in, bracket, fire, bracket, see, adjust the clip, fire, adjust the clip. Very cool. Um, I do think this is one of the first guns that came off, and I've had issues with this jamming. I think those issues are primarily just with this one, because when I was looking at this gun that I didn't put together on purpose so I could show you guys the way it came in, um, all the divots and everything fit the screws perfectly. This one, not so much. I actually had to, uh, modify some of the holes so I could finish screwing it in. So I think this one came first, this one came second. A few updates here. They actually make these toys in a new factory now, so they completely moved everything to a new building, and they're hoping this will fix all the little issues like that they said they haven't had too many manufacturing defects but they have had a few obviously i got one of the defects so if you do get one with a defect contact them you know see if you could exchange it out or something like that and the other update is uh they do have youtube videos and they go over how to avoid jamming and things about like the glue i was not happy with the glue so they talk about that a little bit so you could go to their website and it'll link you over to their youtube videos so check that out if you have more questions because they do go through quite a few things there. And uh, the guys at Paper Shooters actually gave me a little gift inside this. They gave me some extra cartridges and another bag of, of uh, these paper things, paper wads, whatever you want to call them, in addition to what came in here. So that was really nice of them. Thank you guys. And that also tells me that this is probably the one that you want me to build. But I didn't even open this box until... I built this one. So this is the one you have to sort of base it off of. So yeah, it jams on me. Yeah, it jams on me. Um, I just fired uh, six cartridges before uh, filming this. Only two went to the target. The other ones were either, I had one stuck in here and the other ones jammed and when I ejected, then the paper shot out. So two out of six, not good but like i said i think they're improving on that uh hopefully that won't be a continual issue um i'm definitely giving them a benefit of the doubt because i'm already seeing differences when i'm looking at this uh do i recommend this as a toy it is recommended for 14 and up the <laughs> i mean a 14 year old with a toy like this they're gonna use it to either shoot their little siblings come here little susie pop, pop shoot their little siblings, 
or to play things like Capture the Flag. And that is if they get through the process of putting it together. So it's really aimed at uh, the hobbyists that like to put things together. Um, so that's probably why it's not at six-year-olds or seven-year-olds. Plus they use a lot of glue. And we're talking about putting, you know, putting one of these cardboard things on top of here and then gluing more and more things there. Like this barrel, which I don't even like this barrel. I feel like this should just be plastic that I screw in. You put these things on. What? I don't even know what the purpose of that is other than to try to make it look like a barrel. Why can't you just give me two plastic pieces that I drill in? I would much, much have preferred that. Um, I don't mean like putting it together, but that's because I'm lazy. But this is also aimed at the hobbyists and a way for them to save money by just getting the parts out and then having you put it together. Hopefully, go look at the pricing. Like I said, I didn't look at the pricings. Hopefully they save money like that. It makes sense. Hey, if I'm gonna save like 15 bucks off a Nerf gun off of putting it, the little thing together myself, you, you bet I'd probably do that um, if I bought Nerf guns which is a conversation all on its own. Um, so the other thing is besides shooting, you know, their siblings, I see them playing like Capture the Flag or Human versus Zombies with these. And again, I don't think, I just don't think it would work well for that because you only get six clips in here. Now, if you could buy extra six cartridges in the clip, excuse me, you could buy extra cartridges, put them in your pocket, but a lot of these don't, they don't stay in here. The little paper things you put in there and then they'll fall right out. So if they're in your pocket, you're gonna pull out the cartridges and all the paper is already fall down. So you have to pull out the cartridge, put the paper in, put it inside the clip, and then you're finally reloaded. That's a, that's a lot of work. And that's if you have extra cartridges. If you don't have extra cartridges, you have to run and find these things. And if you're playing Capture the Flag, this might be in grass, it might be, who knows. Playing Nerf uh, with Capture the Flag, the only reason that works well is because Nerf darts are cheap. And they're, you know, it's a very saturated market with, you know, that Nerf dominates. So you have the darts all over the place and usually these organizations will bring or groups of friends, whoever you're playing with, they bring big bags of, of darts. Um, you can't do that with these cartridges, uh, also because the paper will fall out of them. Um, now, if you're shooting inside of a house, it's pretty easy cleanup. You just run a vacuum cleaner, and then, sorry kids, make new paper. I'm tired of seeing this stuff all over the place. Next time, you vacuum. Um, the other place I see uh, toy guns a lot is actually, <gasps> offices uh they call it office warfare uh you know you see a lot of nerf guns in, in tech offices and stuff like that in it departments so i asked some of my it friends and i brought this into an office and i asked them what they thought about this this would be a sniper weapon the reason why this would be a sniper weapon is because the person wouldn't even notice they got shot especially if it's not on their bare skin if it's on like their shirt or a coat or something they're not even going to realize they even got shot um, and they're going to look around. They're not going to find a dart. This thing's really hard. They're really hard to see. Uh, so you're probably just going to shoot, put it down. So kind of shooting somebody with one of these is really mean because they don't even know if they even got shot. At least with the Nerf dart, you're like, what hit me? Oh, there's a Nerf dart. Oh, ha, 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 ha. You know, you, this is actually kind of mean in that kind of setting. So where does this shine? This shines in the fact that it is DIY, that you do have to put it together, and that means you can modify it a lot more, you know, a lot differently. You know, you're, you're probably encouraged to paint all this. Uh, and that's why I'll probably use it in an upcoming video project when, don't ask me. Um, and the, the ejection of cartridges, I think, is really, really cool. And that will look very well when you're running in front of the camera, I believe. We'll, we'll see whenever I do a test of that. Two more updates. One, they updated the instructions. They rewrote it, which makes me happy because I had some issues reading the instructions. So they rewrote it. They say it's a lot easier to read. And just for watching this video, you get 10% off your purchases on the website. So if you do want to buy one of these toys, use the code TODEN to receive 10% off. So that's what I think. I think as a toy, 
uh, not so much, but for the hobbyist to put together and modify it and have fun with it, have fun with the looks and, and figure out different things, it's pretty cool. And, and I'm going to use it in a future video project. Um, so tell me if this review helped. If you liked it, thumbs up. If you didn't like it, thumbs down. Comment. Tell me what to change. Tell me if I should do more stuff like this. And please, please, please check out the rest of this channel. Check out my audiovisual reviews. Check out some of my short films. I have some other series I want to do. Uh, you know, keep up with me. Check me out. Comment. Let me know. Like, you know, rate, subscribe, comment. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching.